Hello guys and welcome to the fifth video of this tutorial series. In the last video we saw that how we can receive the messages from our Facebook page through the Facebook API and now in this video we will learn how to reply back to those messages. Okay, so let us see how we can do it. So as you had seen in the last video we received these kind of JSON objects from the Facebook API and let us try to analyze it a bit in order to understand how we are going to reply to the messages so I'm just going to pretty print this JSON structure for a better understanding So, um, this is our JSON structure, okay, and if you see, we have a dictionary in which there are two keys, the object and the entry, and corresponding to the entry key, there is a list which contains all the data about my messages, and in that there is a key called messaging and in that messaging key there is another list of messages in which each message contains the specific data about that particular message so in order to fetch the important data from this JSON structure we will have to write some code and we are going to do that so this was our webhook function if you remember now we are going to write okay so it is not showing it that well but still we can manage okay so if data object we are going to check if the object key is a page or not now if it is a page then I am going to iterate over the entry so for entry in data data entry and now what happens is that in the entry which is a list you will have to go to the messaging key right so for messaging event in entry messaging uh, now for messaging event in entry messaging you will get a single message structure like if you try to see we are now here so this is all that we need right so this is our one messaging event so we have to manipulate that so for messaging event in entry messaging now it's time to extract useful data from it like first of all I would like to extract all the IDs like the sender ID which I will need again when I will have to reply to that message so sender ID is equal to messaging event messaging event sender sender key and it's again a dictionary so it's ID right similarly you can get the recipient ID which is equal to messaging event recipient and its ID okay and now what I have to do next I have to check if the type of my message is a simple message or not what I mean to say is that Facebook API can send you different type of messages 
there is something called post back quick replies etc so here we are going to see if the messaging event is of simplest message type or not and the simplest message types usually contain um, your text or the attachments okay so if messaging event dot get message you have to check if there is some text in that message or not so if text in messaging event message so i am checking if there is a text key in my message or not and if there is a text key then i will keep that key then i will keep the text as it is so messaging event message and text fine and now and if there is not a text so currently we are not going to write anything if that is not a text so i'm just going to keep my messaging text as no text okay and what else so we are able to extract the important information from our messaging event you can say so now it's time to create something which can send back the messages right so i'm going to use pi messenger for that from pi messenger import bot so we are using the bot class of pi messenger and i will have to create a bot instance bot is equal to bot and one more thing i will have to pass the page access token of my facebook page to the bot so let us go back to developers.facebook.com and here we go page access token of my news bot page i have copied it and i am going to save it here uh, my page access token is equal to i have copied it and i have to pass it so page access token so this this way i have created a bot instance so this bot will be able to send back the messages that i wanted to send so let us see um what response i want to send back to the facebook page for the message that it has received um let's create a eco bot eco bot means just eco back the message so i'm writing eco so response is equal to messaging text and bot dot now the bot has the bot class has a method called send text message and in that you have to first pass the sender id and then your response so it is response here and that's it i think that will do uh, eco bot is ready and it just needs to be tested right so let us test it i have saved it and i am going to run first of all let me exit it the python interpreter and now python app dot py so my app is running so i am going to message my bot hi there and yes so our eco bot is working it has responded as hi there right so what's up it is just going to echo that so yeah our eco bot is working here we are able to receive the messages and now we are able to send back the replies as well right and if you want to see you can see here um the requests are getting completed nicely so i think that's it we are able to reply back to the messages and we have created a nice eco bot here 
so that's it from this video thanks for watching